uh, through books. And to me, it's like it's not. To me, the games are what matter. That's yeah. That that's what that that was my thought when we're rewatching the first and second one. I'm like, this like pe- this is what people want. This is what the fans want, and this is honestly what I want too. Like just a completely sincere like uh, Buzz Lightyear fucking you know. Green super soldier. It's like yeah, Buzz Lightyear inside of inside of like Saving Private Ryan in space, and that is your hero. And he does look like Buzz Lightyear sometimes when he's like uh, throwing the bomb into space. It, it it does feel like a Toy Story sequence, like uh, especially like in the third game when they're yeah. going through like it. It almost feels like a fucking child's playground. Just like oh, we're in a fucking warthog shooting aliens and we're landing into the ship like a fucking. Like at the end of Toy Story One, yeah, they go into the moving van. Yeah, the way the ships move, like in the first one, yeah, yeah it totally looks like a kid, like just like tossing. But around. I love that. I think it's fucking great. I think it's cool. Oh yeah, the ship design is like really important. Like and like even even though you're like involved in these big battles in the game, you still kind of feel like just a fly on the wall of like the entire war. Oh, you they have like I mean? really awesome skyboxes of like banshees like shooting down like uh, human uh, aircraft. Cause like a lot of times like you just like drop into like like a battle's going on but like you've got to go do this other mission you know yeah or whatever yeah. and it's like y- you're like kind of just seeing like one small s- you're Cross just seeing section. a slice yeah of this giant conflict that's going on and like I don't like do you do you start like mid conflict or like 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 the UNSC already knows about them but like are they already engaged like on multiple fronts and stuff or like i i would i think it would be cool to see like the war expand and mm-hmm. it's like you your your master chief is helping like they're using him to do important things but like it, it's still like a out of their control like you know mm-hmm. you know like this this war that's being forced upon them you know yeah and you got to make it feel like it, this story, it's like the story of humanity's desperate, like, fight to survive. Well, see, the, the interesting thing about the Halo, at least the original trilogy for me, was it doesn't go, it, it, it goes from preserving humanity to preserving life itself. Because in the original game, the conflict starts off with, you know, the Covenant trying to take command of a Halo ring and activate it, destroying existence as we know it. Mm-hmm. But we have like a black and white bad guy. But in the sequel, uh, at least the elites, you know, take you down the take down the veil and uncover like this is all a lie, and ally themselves with humanity to stop the covenant from activating the ring and destroying humanity, and the flood. You know, so it goes from like just humanity survival to like basically life as you know it, existence. Oh, that would be sick for the third one. Like when exactly, they re- when you really bring in you bring in the 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 elite or what, which one? Which the elites, class? yeah, the elites. elites, yeah. Those are the arbiter looking dudes. Yeah, yeah. That would be so sick. Like when they finally team up and like you know you see fight the be, brutes. Oh my god, that would be so tight. And then yeah, in the sequel you do the um, like the story of them meeting and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And then like in the second half they're kind of working together. No, 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 not until like the end. Oh, okay, and then in the th- third one, they start off homies. Oh, okay, they're already they're back. To th- that would be sick. Yeah, that's if basically he picks what the up his did. number two. Yeah, that's how the third game was. Okay, damn, you it's mean, perfect. Uh, I think s- you do got to play with a lot of the 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 canon of the games and shit. Like you got to just. Oh, but I think the canon is just perfect. It's perfect as is. I mean, yeah, you rewrite the bullshit. And you kind of move some stuff around, but at like at its core, like yeah, that's how I would that's how I would compose the movies. The first one, how the first one was. Second one, at the end, you know, you align yourself with the uh, the elites, fight the covenant. Third, you start off as companions, and then you team up with the flood for a second, but then they betray you. Um, and you stop the rings from activating, and Chief goes off into the sunset. But yeah, it would be like super truncated. Like the b- like the the beats are perfect, I think. For a trilogy, uh, absolutely. Well, yeah, I think the, like the overall, yeah, that would be sick. But okay, now a show. I think you could. I don't. I don't even really know if you could give a show the scale that you could. Totally I really want to no, see. No, the, the, the problem is they're 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 starting off really big. 
first off, if you're going to introduce Master Chief in any capacity, it has to be a movie, in my opinion. If you're going to do it, if what? you're going to... Oh, you're... do you show his face? No. Why? How do you explain that? He doesn't end the game at all. And the the span the span of the, the does the, he have to the, eat? The span, yeah, the, the in the span of the games, it's like a week. One, two, three is like a week. Because two takes three takes place immediately after the second one. And so does one kind of basically, starts, yeah. yeah. So it's oh wow, you know what I mean? That's crazy. So there really is no reason for him to be taking it off. And plus, I love Steve Downs, man. But hey, if we have to compromise and get a different voice actor, but I think that's stupid. I think he could still do the voice until he's pretty much almost dead. Kevin Conroy can do it. Yeah, I think that would be totally fine. I do think you probably get an actor for Cortana. Sure, sure. I, I, but Steve Downs, I just don't compromise on, man. He's just too important. Well, yeah, if you're not going to show his face, I think definitely. But I wouldn't even mind Jen Taylor voicing Cortana. I think it'd be fine. No, no, you have to, it has to be by the actress that plays her. Or you just do her totally animated? Yeah, totally animated. I guess you Dude, could. Halo 2, It'd she looks crazy. fucking great. Be crazy. Halo 2 anniversary? I do think you do, like, I think you desexualize her a little bit. Oh, they do. They do. I think you kind of... In, in the new it. game, she wears, like, like, a little suit. She has, like, a... It, it looks like a little, like a little scientist outfit. Okay, I mean, you, you get, I mean, just a little something, dude. In Halo Four, dude, it was getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> she was stupid thick. You could see her feet, dude. Everybody was having a field day with this thing, dude. She had massive titties. It's my favorite model for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cortana. Okay, I gotta watch the cutscenes to that later. Yeah, Halo Four, dude. Yeah, go for it, dude. Um, but yeah, you suck. You desexualize for sure. I would. Uh, but this show, basically, they've gone the the postmodern route and make they're making him a master chief is now a rebellion against the UNSC. The UNSC and the UNSC aren't even re remotely ambiguous in terms of like whether or not they're good or bad. They're they're just overtly bad. Yeah, they're just overtly like don't give a shit about human life or anything. Well, I mean, I think that's the show's fault. I think they, I think they, they are just kind of like, uh, and see, people say it's not woke, but I'm like, it kind of is. It is. It's not so obvious, but when you have like the military as the overt bad guys. Okay, could you rewrite it where 500 years in the future we are kind of more of a Star Trek society? Is that too far? That's how I saw and it. Maybe Doctor Halsey is bad. No, I think you still well, do shadowy seeds of the government. Like the no, Oni no. is basically like a CIA. In the in the game, well, in one of the games, right? They enter, they they say that the the Spartans were created for to quell human rebellions. Yes, separatist colonists, yeah. basically, which yeah. is what this show is about, and that's what they've honed in on. Right, like that 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 aspect of it. That's not where you start, though. I mean. I mean, we, you can get there at some point, but I think you need to establish, like, the greater picture. I, I think that's, to me, that's where Halo does well, its best. Well, I mean, I felt like it was, almost, it was like, pretty accurate. It's like, yeah, they're, they, you see them quelling, quashing the re rebellion, and then the, then the th thing attacks, you know? Yeah, it's pretty... Or, like, you start out with a colonist who's, who are, like, hate the UNSC... And, and rightfully so, because they don't want to. They 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 want sovereignty. Yeah, they don't want to be mined for their resources and and basically have to answer to an authoritarian government, which is what they are basically. Right. Which I I don't know how much sense that makes. If like like, see, I think it's okay to ask those questions. I don't I don't know. Like how how. You know how does a how does a multiplanetary government work? Is there even one? You know what I mean. There's got to be conflict that arises, and I think that's that's interesting in, in terms of like, like if you do like a like a spinoff or something. But that's not really the the heart of Halo. I I don't think. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, it's an interesting sci-fi concept, right? To get into, I mean, that would be kind of cool to add like lore to it in that way to like a show like how 
discover like how it works and like what the life is like for people. But I don't know. I just feel like in 500 years, like you're mining for resources with people and like you need all like, like that's what colonists are doing. Like, I just don't see it. I think uh, I think uh, I think you're missing the bigger picture here, bud. You could do it differently. It's you a, could totally do it differently. A, you could still have like a group of people being oppressed, maybe not as directly, you know, paralleling current day how they would be. You know what I mean? Right. And in all these shows, it's like <laughs> it's like the future, but they still make the colonists look like they're village people or something. Hey, hey, hey! They in have like, AK-47s in, like, in 2001 tribes. Tahoes, dude. Right. And it's like you're in the you're it's 500 years. You you would have like fucking maglevs and like teleporters and like doors that open themselves and like like just holographic, you know, shield door panels or something. You know, I what like I mean? the way they did it in like Halo 2 anniversary. <laughs> you know how like uh, they all have like uh, AI chips in the back of their head. Have you noticed that? Well, yeah, the UNSC looks futuristic, like all the ships and stuff, and like right. all their like that that stuff looks futuristic. But like, no, I'm just talking about the show. Like they like and and in a lot of sci-fi. Like well, there, Dune. There, there 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 is like an artistic decision in doing that because I did notice this, but that's it's kind of always been the case. Like even in the games, where you have like these archaic, rustic cities that look like maybe only like 50 years in the future for us. You know what I mean? Kind of being mm -hmm. uh, clashed with like this futuristic super soldier just walking around it. There's always been kind of like that's always just kind of been like an artistic artistic decision, I think. And I don't think they know why. I don't think they they're doing that on purpose, like how Bungie intended for how uh, intended it to be or be portrayed. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, you can't. I don't know. They don't they don't understand the source material at all. I mean, well, I mean, so the show. I mean. Oh, do you, do you ever see human colonists in the in the games? Yeah, in Reach, in Halo Reach. What you, are they up to? Uh, you know, f they're farmers. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think it's cool though. I think it's That's cool. Crazy. I, I, they're all like they all speak like Hungarian. That's crazy. Fucking one of the Spartan twos interrogates them. He's like, they're farmers. He's like, like okay. So now that I'm like, by the time that we can live on other planets sustainably, like like we could actually like live on the moon or Mars or something. And there's that level of like, uh, you know, transport going between that people can actually stay on the moon, you know, for a long time, yeah, years at a time. Like by that time, like like people can't be like working and shit. You know what I mean? Look, that's besides the point. That is besides the point. I think you could still. I think you could still capture that essence without. I don't even really mind it. I think that. I think that's actually. Actually, yeah, it's this. It's kind of a Star Wars type thing. Yeah, to I think that's. Yeah, I was gonna say that's kind of what gives it sort of that charm because it is. It is ridiculous. It is almost fantastical, the level of uh, sci-fi. You know what I mean? Yes, it's it's it's. It was never meant. It was never meant to be an accurate depiction of what the future would look like. You know what I mean? At all. Yeah, I guess even in the yeah the first one because they have like regular guns. Yeah, they well, because like, like, they, they, they they don't really hide the the influences of like the '90s and the 2000s action movies at the time, you know what I mean? Like the, the predators are basically like the analog for the elites. I mean, they have like a split jaw and they have invisible cloaks and they have like bladed weapons that they've used. Oh, right, right, right. Even yeah. in the sequel, they wow, have like the, that is a lot of similarities. They have like a big headdress that makes them look like the alien, the xenomorph from Alien, in the second one. That's pretty sick, though. Yeah, but I mean, they never tried to hide it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, they look like, I mean, like... I the, mean, yeah, for Halo, you do it, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think you... I think you, I think you, I think you let it roll. I think if you make a, a show that I don't think is intent... Insanely serious, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's got to be kind of like... They're trying to, like, do, like, this rebellion resistance story... Maybe maybe they do like keep it kind of silly and it's I don't know but it it seems pretty self serious so far. It's, and it's silly like, because of how serious it takes itself. That's what makes it so silly. Right, it's where they don't realize like how like Cringe. cartoonish like this There's whole thing is. There's this one sequence is. when Miranda Keys comes out, and I have no problem with the race switch at all. I don't give a shit. That's fine. Oh, the chick at the beginning of the second one. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Remember, okay, she's like, I'm weird. not another politician. 
Look, these politicians, politician. She says like politician in that conversation like five different times. I was like, man, this is just terrible writing. This is just awful. Mm -hmm. Like you don't respect your audience at all. It's at all. It's at all. 